Hi, I'm Dr. Ty from Matthews. I'm going to be showing you how to use the ACSM stepping equation in order to calculate the step height when you already know the step frequency and the oxygen consumption of the workout. So let's use a question here to help us frame this. Uh, so we have Tanisha, who's a client at your gym. She's using a, an aerobic step to work on her cardiorespiratory fitness, and she's planning on take, uh, doing a step rate of about 25 steps per minute. So she probably feels comfortable at that rate. She can go up and down without feeling she's going to fall or be too exhausted. So that's whatever she's comfortable with. So now we need to figure out uh, the rest of this. So she was prescribed a work rate that equals 25 milliliters of oxygen, oxygen per kilogram of body mass per minute. And uh, we need to figure out how tall the step or the box that she's stepping on and off of should be. And we're gonna do that in meters as well as in inches um, because depending on where you are, you're probably, probably gonna use one or the other of those. So let's look at our given variables. So we have the activity that we're going to be doing, which is stepping, which tells us which equation that we need to, to use. Uh, we have 25 steps per minute as the uh, frequency that she's going to go up and down the steps. So each time up and down, up and down, that is the number of steps she's doing. Uh, and then we have 25 milliliters of oxygen per kilogram of body mass per minute for the oxygen, oxygen consumption rate. So the stepping equation is VO2 in relative terms, so ml per kg per minute, uh, equals open parentheses 0 0.2 times the frequency of the stepping, uh, and then close parentheses, plus another open parentheses, uh, 1.33 times 1.8 times the height of the step times the frequency of the stepping, close parentheses, plus 3.5 mls per kg per minute. And that 3.5 represents the resting component of this exercise. So we need to do some rearranging because we need to try to isolate the h or the height portion of this um, equation and so that we can calculate the height of the step. So the height is right here uh, in the equation. So first thing I'm gonna do is start moving the things that are added to the height. So I'm gonna start with this parentheses section here, and then I'm gonna eventually go over and take care of the uh, 3.5 over there. And we're gonna to move to the other side and reverse the sign. Essentially, we're canceling out by subtracting on this side and subtracting on the other side, which leaves it on that other side. So moving the, uh, the parentheses here, 0 0.2 times frequency of the stepping to the other side, with a subtraction sign instead of a uh, addition sign. The next thing we're going to do, again, is get rid of the plus 3.5 on the right side of the equation, of the equation, move it to the other side of the equation, make it negative 3.5, and now we can ignore these parentheses on the right side of the equation because there's nothing else over there. Um, so let's start to uh, move everything in the parentheses that's not the h, so not the height, to the other side. Um, so everything's being multiplied against height, so we can simply move it all to the other side and divide it into whatever is already over there. All right, so let's put parentheses around the stuff that was already over there, so the writing parentheses here and here, and then divide by the new stuff, so the uh, in parentheses 1.33 times 1.8 times the frequency of the stepping. And this is the final equation that we will be using. All right, so let's go ahead and plug in our values. Uh, we have 25 mLs per kg per minute that we're gonna plug in for the oxygen consumption rate. Um, we still have the 0 0.2 here, that's a, just a constant. The frequency is going to be 25 steps per minute, so we're going to put 25 here. Uh, we have the three, minus a 3.5 for the resting components, um, dividing all of this by uh, 1.33 times 1.8. Both of those are constants. And uh, multiply that by the frequency, again, 25 steps per minute. And so we're going to start doing this. I'm going to start with the first... The, well, we're going to start with the innermost set of parentheses, which is this one right here, the 0 0.2 times point, the 0 0.2 times 25, and that's going to give us five. Okay. Um, now we're going to start working our way across this set of parentheses. So we're going to do 25 minus five. That gives us 20. 
So here's our 20. Now we're gonna do 20 minus 3.5. That's gonna give us 16.5, okay? Right, and then we need to work on the other set of parentheses here. And this is all just multiplication, so it doesn't matter the order. So I'm, I'm just gonna go left to right. So 1.33 times 1.8. That gives us 2.394. Now 2.394 times 25, that gives us 59.85. Then I'm gonna take the 16.5 divided by 59.85 to get our actual step height, and this is gonna be in meters, so we get 0 0.276 meters for our step height. Um, so uh, not too too bad so far. Um, a little bit of rearranging earlier on, but not too bad, I don't think. Um, if you're if you're good at algebra or at least uh, sufficient at the, sort of the pre-algebra stuff, uh, this shouldn't be too bad for you. But let's get this in meters. Uh, so again, 0 0.276 meters is the step height. Let's convert that into inches in case you're somewhere like the United States, like I am, where inches is going to be a little more common. Um, so 0 0.276 times the conversion factor here of 39.3701 equals 10.87 inches. That's how high the, the step height should be. So um, again, fairly straightforward. Hopefully this was helpful to you though. Um, if you have any questions or comments, you can put those in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you. Otherwise, please come back and watch another video. Thanks.